Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Fer and this is the last episode of the Ciphering Phyrexian because I just realized that Phyrexian isn't actually a language, it's, it's just gibberish. It's all gibberish and I cannot believe I, I didn't notice it earlier. I mean, it's just... Let, let's look at some of this text uh, and I, I'm putting that in quotation marks. Uh, let's look at this text and, and let's see, like, like, I mean, look at these supposed letters. They are just chicken scratches. And I don't mean that metaphorically. I really do believe that someone at Wizards of the Coast went to a farm, they just put a bunch of chicken food in the dirt, and they just released a bunch of chickens, and then they, they took pictures of the, the, of the marks of the chicken feet on the dirt. And then they stylized that, they, they took some artists and showed them the pictures of these chicken scratches and they, they told them to pretend it was text and arrange it in the letter, in the cards and it looks cool, like I have to admit, it looks cool but come on, it's just look at it, it's obvious that it's just gibberish and I mean, it's not surprising, like, I mean, there are many made-up languages in media and all of them are just gibberish. For example, here we have, like, Elvish from The Lord of the Rings, uh, this is Klingon from Star Trek, uh, this is, I think, Navi from Avatar, uh, I think this one is from Star Wars, yeah, this is the language that the droids speak. And I don't even remember where this one is from. But of course, like, you look at all of these uh, languages, uh, in quotation marks, and they, from afar, they look like writing. And sure, they look cool. As aesthetically, they look cool. But it's obvious that they, they, can, they are just, uh, just gibberish. They, they cannot be languages. They cannot ma make any sense. Because as we all know, there's only one way of writing that makes sense. And it is the one I specifically happen to use. And everything else that lo looks weird and unfamiliar obviously doesn't make any sense. But, I mean, putting the writing aside, it is impo the, the, the very idea of creating a language is absurd because creating a language is impossible. Because, okay, let, let, let's think about it rationally for a second. Look around you. Every single thing around you has a name. That means that if you wanted to make up a language, you would have to give a name to absolutely everything around you. How long, how long would it take? I mean, there's an infinity of things in the world and you only have time in your life to, to name one infinity of things. So it's obviously impossible to name everything you would have to name for a language. But then, okay, let's say that maybe you gather a bunch of people and you have them inventing words for everything in the world, every minute of every day for years, so that you could have all the words that a language needs. Okay, sure, I guess that could be possible if you took a couple of decades to do that. But even then, you would still have to make up how that language works. And that's a problem because no one knows how language works. I mean, you bake cookies, but you cook bacon, it doesn't make any sense. No one knows how it works. And for that reason, it's obviously, if we don't understand how languages work, how is it possible that we could create a new language? It's absurd. It doesn't make any sense. But let's put all of that aside. Let's say that a bunch of people spent years creating words for a language and that you are a genius and you figured out how languages work when no one else has ever figured it out and that you use that to somehow create a language. What would even be the point if no one is going to speak it? Because it's not like languages are beautiful in and of themselves. Languages are not works of art. And for that reason, if no one speaks a language, it doesn't have any value for anyone. That's why dead languages are called dead languages. Because, because as soon as no one speaks them, they are dead to us and no one cares about them. That's why no one studies them, no one cares about dead languages, no one even knows which dead languages exist or like used to exist, I guess, because again, no one cares about them. 
So there would be no point at all to create a language. And even Tolkien admitted that when he invented Quenya, that you can see here, he for years he sustained that it was a real language. But in his deathbed, he famously admitted that Quenya was just a gibberish and that he was just making fun of everyone because no one cared enough about Quenya to actually learn it, to try to realize that it was all gibberish. So yeah, even the most famous language inventor in the world, again in quotations, uh, admitted that it was impossible to create a language. But what about all the videos I made trying to decipher Phyrexian? Well, it is quite simple. It's just like when you look at the clouds and you think you see animals or faces or I don't know other things in the clouds, but, I mean, you are seeing them, sure, but they aren't really there. The clouds didn't say, oh, we're going to take the shape of, like, a whale being stabbed by a bazooka or something. No, I mean, it, they are just clouds. So, yeah, when I was looking at this, I, these are just, again, chicken scratches, literal chicken scratches. And I just started seeing patterns where they weren't. And I should have realized this was the case when I noticed that there were very little vowels. Again, in quotation marks, because these aren't, there aren't really any vowels nor consonants because these aren't really letters. But like, yeah, uh, one of my first conclusions was that most of Phyrexian only writes the consonant and it rarely writes vowels. That should have been a huge red flag because it's not like the... Because a, how can a language make any sense if it doesn't write the vowels, if it, if it writes the vowels very rarely? I mean, it's not like there are entire civilizations that have prospered for thousands of years without writing a single vowel, right? You obviously need to write vowels for a language to work. And so I should have realized that all of this was gibberish and didn't make any sense a long time ago. So I guess... I'm sorry guys for, for wasting your time and I guess uh, thanks for watching anyway. I don't know what my channel is going to become now. I guess I'm just going to continue making videos about war building or something. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, goodbye.